Cal Stevens and a nice one. Nice set of blocking. Oh, John Rice, he almost simmered him down. Joe Foster's watching. Here's an old veteran who can do it. He got a complete good shoulder block. Peter Kelly went down. And they have to reach a little high here. Cal Stevens can do it. They're getting right up the, around the numbers there, right up at that top of that maple leaf. There's a punch that drops the big guy, and he stretches halfway around that track. He looks like an elongated beetle. Well, we're going to wait and see here what happened to that play. There was no score in that play, and they did it. They did a fine job of stopping Kelly, and there's uh, Lester Quarles. There's Leroy Lambert. Quarles still. Oh, boy, is he upset. Well, right after the period, we're going to have uh, wrap-up and interview time again. So hang in there with us. And Lambert has been kicking his shins out of everybody here tonight. If you aim for his shins, you probably have to go underground. Back is intact. 37 seconds remaining in the jam the period in the game, unless they use that uh, 60 second. Here's Paul Rupert. The giant is moving out. And the Canadian Brave dropped the warrior, uh, the bomber on that play. So the only jammer now is Paul Rupert. R-U-P-E-R-T, Rupert. He's up to Bob Hine now. Can Bob Hine hold him out? And Bob Hine is trying to get that uh, bomber team to move, and they're doing it, they're doing it! The bomber team is pulling away! The bombers are roaring! Moving, moving! Number seven, keep your eye on them. Dennis Benson now, gonna give him a whip. Can they do it? rule in there now and on the inside there goes one high there goes another high he's moving in now they got that score tied they go in and what they do but two, two or four fell the play is called off the official ruling and we're waiting for those officials here rolling over we think the uh, Canadian team is there it is they did it no, we haven't got the ruling yet. We don't know what that score was on that play. Trying to make that score move up there. The game is over. Well, there you have it. The game is over, and we took a little delay there on that score because there was a controversy. They got Lester Quarles with that briefcase thrown out there, and he only got one point. So the San Francisco Bombers won, goes in the record book, 32-31. Another Bomber win. Gene, congratulations. The referees called it right. In fact, if they didn't call it, the game was going to be under protest. Lester Squirrely, or what is it, Squirrely Quarles? Oh, Mr. Quarles oh, to you, oh, idiot. Squirrely Quarles. Well, anyway, the referees called it right. Now, the rematch at the Cow Palace on November 15th, we're going to have the same officials out there because they're fair and just, and we're going to take Canada again. Listen, right. I didn't come all the way down from Canada to be robbed like I was robbed tonight. You're an idiot, Moyer. No, you, you know this, you know nothing about running a no, team. This man no, is an idiot no, here. No, I, I interfere with nobody. I run my, I have a legal secretary. Secretary, I have an aide, Leroy. I have a tight ship. Control is the name of this game. Control. Why did Why did you throw that briefcase out there? Can't you win properly? I never threw anything anywhere. I never threw my my briefcase flipped out oh, of my hands. I, he interfered. He interfared from outside the track. The, the, the secretary. The referees called it correctly. And if they hadn't, the game would have been on a protest, and we would have been allowed to win it. I was robbed. I was. I still say I was robbed tonight. We're gonna I have a you rematch. robbed me, Moyer. We're gonna have a rematch November the 15th, a Friday night at the Cow Palace, and we're gonna beat Canada and I beat them bad this time. Big, bad Make it someplace big where a lot of people can come Palace, and see the what Cow the Cow Canadians, can, Canadians can do to this lousy bomber team the you Cow put Palace together. Bigger than any building in Canada. Right, absolutely. Uh, next time, come dress for the games, old man. I have my own entourage right, around me all the time. You guys out anyway. I tell you what, while they're going and uh, flapping their jaws about it, we'd like to remind you what Gene Moy has been talking about. The big Friday night doubleheader, November the 15th, at the Cow Palace, a doubleheader, where two foreign teams, the Latin Liberators, along with the uh, uh, Canadian Braves, will be going at it. Okay, and in San Jose, on Tuesday the 19th.